Unity is of paramount importance and it should not be compromised under any circumstances. As the name suggests, United Kingdom is a kingdom which is united, united under various colours, nationalities, cultures and creeds. I believe that in this country we are one united nation and we should promote that to other parts of the world. As British people, as residents of the United Kingdom, it's extremely important for us as diverse Muslim communities to remain united. We consult one another, we benefit from opinions of others and from their experience and that's why it is very important to have this unity. The challenges that we face are common to all Muslims and the threats that we face from time to time are also common to all Muslims. I am grateful to Almighty God that Muslims in this country are united. We should see all Muslims as Muslims with the different colors and different flavors, and different traditions. That brings strength to our Ummah, to our community. To him belongs all life. The sectarian issues are divisive, they corrupt the heart, they eat us or consume us from within. If we are people who are interested in saving our souls, then make sure there's a soul left to be saved. The Quran describes us as one nation, one community. And so if we begin to be divided along sectarian lines, then we are going against the teachings of the Quran. There is room for all of us to hold our diverse interpretations dear to ourselves, get along and agree to disagree. The best policy that we can adopt is the policy of the Prophet. And the policy of the Prophet has always been to bring people together, to accommodate them, to share love, to commit to peace, to commit to justice. And we talk about commonality with Christians and Jews, and indeed we have made very much in common with them. But Shias and Sunnis, I mean, is who, in whose interest is it to make us feel that we are not Muslims, one group or the other? And that worse than that, that we should have bad, bad feelings in our hearts towards one another. Then beyond that, to actually strike out in violence. It is from Shaitan. I'm ab absolutely clear about that. In this day and age, it's important for all of us to unite as one Ummah for the progression of humanity at large. Brothers and sisters, if I could tell you in one sentence about ISIS, I would say they are evil, they are corrupt, they are self-seeking, self-centered, vicious people. Don't get mixed up with, with them. You don't know who are behind them. I think the best way to describe ISIS is that they're cowboys. They don't represent the religion. They're not qualified to represent the religion. ISIS is not justified. We condemn that. There are 10 conditions in the Khalifa. In theology, it is important that without them, or in the absence of one of them, the person is not a qualified person for Khilafah. None of these conditions exist in al-Baghdadi or other people who claim that. As a Sunni Muslim, I do not accept the Khilafah of ISIS. I consider ISIS as a terrorist organization, and they are trying to create corruption and fitna within the Muslim world. We are Muslims united against ISIS, against terrorism, against atrocity, against pain and suffering. <laughs>